Greetings and welcome to the Word Bible Software. We have two more videos of Bible study methods uh, in 3 John chapter 1, verses 13 through 14. We have first the phrasing and grammar portion, and then we have the division slash word study. Sometimes you've seen it, they do cross over at times. Opening up the Word Bible Software, here we have um, some different views. Remember our Bible view is over here. We have the NASB, the, Net, the New King James, and the Berean here. Now note there are some different things that you can use and this is the Berean Reverse Interlinear has extra information. It's a resource that is now released. There's also uh, there's also the the Greek Interlinear as well as the Hebrew Interlinear from the Berean as well. Going into 3 John 1 13 through 14. And here we have the window we've been writing in. Let's just do a quick review. We go down through, we, we basically put, put some different um, formatting for different type of phrasing or grammar as we go through. And then we divide it into the divisions. And lastly, we do the word studies. Let's go ahead and go down and work through our grammar and also our phrasing. So often, as you've noticed, go through, get your commas, get your, your especially your sentences, and, and divide them out. I, I prefer to do this in, in the Greek uh, according to their punctuation system, but but this is what we have. And and dig in here. And you can and that's where if you need to you can go into the that that uh, Greek interlinear right here, like this, and you can look through it. You can even turn on the, the interlinear feature here. But let's go back to where we're at. And often it's wise to compare. Let's go to 13 through 14, coming to the end of the book of 3rd John. I had many things to write to you, but I'm not willing to write them to you with pen and ink. Let's go again. I had many things to write to you, but I do not wish. So I'm not willing, do not wish to write to you with pen and ink. So let's just go in here. We have, I believe we've been going through with the New King James. And let's make a small note here. Uh, we'll do... Since I know that this is NASB, go in here and we're going to go willing. Or let's do not willing so we don't get confused there. And if you look back on the previous ones that we've done, when we make a note like that, we just put it right in here and bring it to, bring it to attention. So let's go ahead and adjust our formatting here. And there we go. Let's double check. I like to do, uh, okay. The black is what we would like to use there. So double check that. And there we go. Continuing on with pen and ink. Okay, but I hope to see you shortly and we will speak face to face. But I hope to see you shortly and we shall speak face to face. Peace to you. Our friends greet you. Greet the friends by name. Now it's interesting that Nasby has verse 15. Peace be to you. The friends greet you. Greet the friends by name. So that's interesting as far as versions go. And now over here, the Brian, I have many things to write to you, but I would prefer not to do so. So let's go ahead and write in. We'll just go B, BSB for now. Prefer, which is Brian Study Bible, not to do so. And with pen and ink. And said, I hope to see you soon and speak with you face to face. So generally, see you soon, shortly. Okay, we could go in there. Um and add that we might add that a little bit later let's get this down because there's a comma there speak with you face to face peace to you friends here send you greeting greet each of our friends there by name so let's dig in here I had many things to write so to write is the dative or the indirect object so we're gonna go indirect and let me double check how I've been doing the grammatical terms so indirect object and we'll double check that uh, let's go ahead and put this into our formatting there. And we'll just double check here. To write, and we have, it's actually an in infinite infinitive verb. So let's not do, so that's infinitive. We're just double checking it with that verb. Okay. And we would do, what we will do for that one is just a simple underline and leave it right there. Okay. We'll double check or actually we'll just do it. Just one of those. Just like that. Okay. I had many things. So what is the many? So I had, that would be a verb. 
And let's go in here and double check. I have, so that's imperfect first person, many things, and that would be the direct object. I, I really like the Brian study tool in that sense because it, it's very quick. It gets us those things that we need to know. So this is not a noun, this is a direct object. And then I had, and this is a verb. Go ahead and, and put those right in there and bold underline, just like that. But I do not wish, and so we have, what we will have here is, right here should be a conjunction. And we'll just leave it there. And those are basically joining or contrasting statements. I do not wish. I have many things. I would prefer I do not wish. And so we have, or I would prefer, and this would be what we will you will find is there's going to be a verb, would be like that, and then here is a negative participle. So what we're gonna go ahead is go verb. And more than likely, if you were to look in a Greek version. It would have the not thelo, so it would be not first. So we're going to actually do that negative, just like that. And we'll just d go over that right here. It's an adverb, rather. Oops. Adverb. And under there. And bam, there we go. To write to you. So this is interesting and probably here to write is probably again to write or to they put to do so but to write here grapho graphin which would be an infinitive verb again and go in in here and we will just underline that now remember the verbs we keep up against the line to help us remember that it is i and this is a little bit different order here to you. And that would be a dative or indirect, sorry, indirect object. And, and remember that English grammar. So this one we have a couple over. So it's not a noun, not accusative, it's an indirect object. With pen and ink. And this is probably, uh, this is probably preposition here. Pen and ink. So this will be prep. And it is actually a genitive singular masculine. It's not possessive in this sense, but it's just a prepositional phrase if you want to say that. Um, something that helps you remember where it is and it goes over here. But once again, we have that conjunction. I hope to see you shortly. So I hope go into verse 14 I hope and would that be a verb to see this may be in yep it's an infinitive so we have a verb we have an infinitive verb and we're gonna just go ahead and mark those again and these 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 notes these visual formatting notes help us see where we're at as we go down and, and we study through scripture and whatever kind of draws you back in and then you shortly so hope to see you and so see and then you would be a personal pronoun and this is an accusative and soon is an adverb so so this is a direct object who does he want to see he wants to see you and and if you need to make a note is it talking it's talking to you all well you singular so that kind of connects back if you remember to the subject of this particular book. Well, subjects of sentence, but um, whoops, let's go back one more. Okay, and that goes back to the start of the book, the elder to the beloved Gaius. So the elder wants to come see Gaius shortly, and we know that the elder is the apostle John, and then we have an adverb here. Whatever helps you if you need to do the full, go ahead, if you just need to do abbreviation like that, that would work. And we, so now we have that comma, um, this is a, they have a semicolon here. You could jump this whole section over if you like. Um, let's go in here. And we've got a comma. And we shall speak face to face. So we have a conjunction. 
aha uh -huh. so there's interesting in here it's with you face to face so is the question is is i think on the you and speak ah there we go and and speak with you lelo face to face so let's see here we shall speak face to face so that is a verb go ahead with that uh, quickly there and then we shall speak there bold underlined um, in, in the indicative concept face to face and if you need if you want to you can even add I believe it's basically a future you could add that in and then face to face and that is all an accusative phrase so the direct object okay let's jump that over to now we see another sentence here so let's go ahead and um, we go down through here I had many things to write but I do not wish to write to you with pen and ink but I hope to see you shortly and speak we and we shall speak face to face so let's go ahead in here and we have a verse well, let's get our kind of our formatting from over here remember context is 9 through 12 so let's get these two guys right here and we're doing a little bit of that division if you notice so this is 13 through 14 a this is the first portion there and down here this is where they actually some versions do uh, verse 15 in there but um, let's go into B and that'll be 2 3rd John 1 14 B okay very good and context is 9 through 12 and good to keep that right there in front of us let's go down here peace to you and you see three different small sentences here peace to you peace that is the subject and, and peace is to you or give peace now to you is the indirect object let's jump that over twice indirect object okay and we can right here is a subject okay very good continuing down our friends greet you so let's look at that the friends here and that's an adjective and it's describing and here send you greeting so basically that's all connected to there that would be the subject greetings so greet you so here we are greet and then I believe we, we will have a send you greetings let's see if we have it in there but now this is a subject remembering that oops I, I see what I did up here we're gonna jump that over and we're gonna jump this over because it's in the subject it's not a verb and then greet you let's see here let's go to a if you've been following along in our, our Greek reading series this might be something you can get into um, you the the philoi and that would be the friends and you can get into that well, let's go to the Brian and you can see it really quick here friends so you is the direct object so let's go back okay and we have a verb that's a probably an indicative we'll check that out here very quickly and then you and that would be the direct object who are they greeting you and is it a you all or is it a strictly is it kind of directed toward Gaius and let's go back to the Brian here and it is a you specifically directed toward Gaius and greet whoops didn't go back quite okay let's continue on here down here greetings okay very good and that would be an indicative okay kind of a verb of fact greet the friends by name and so interesting we'll probably see this in, in the imperative this is a an imperative verb so verb and that's kind of the commanding uh, this would be John would be telling Gaius you must greet the friends there 
or or greet our each greet each of our friends by name um so there we go we put that in a little bit of pink there the friends and who are the friends they would be an adjective in the accusative so they're a direct object and as you can see that's a really helpful quick tool to verify where we're at now it is done by different authors and so it's not inspired as far as the grammar but it is very helpful and by name and you can see um, we have another accusative there as well and so that's another part of the direct object so greet the friends by name and let's double check something real quick okay and jump that over as well very good so you can see we've done through gone through we got our phrasing as well as doing our grammar and and they those are kind of intricately tied together now we have a second point and a first point so kind of some important things to remember in our body in the body of christ are we really greeting each other are we focused on that do we reach out and build each other up in the local body do we carry greetings from one uh, church to another church how do we do these things and these are some important things we're going to go ahead and close there thanks for joining us in 3 John 1, 13-14 in phrasing and grammar.